Werribee's Player of the Week is brought to you by The Gordon, helping people gain real skills for real jobs for over 125 years. So we're here for Werribee TV at Avalon Airport Oval. We're back on the winner's list after a 29-point victory over Frankston at Skybus Stadium on the weekend. And one man who was instrumental in it all, who joins me now, is Matt Hanson. He is our Gordon Player of the Week for Round 8. The, gold, the Gordon, I should say, real skills for real jobs. Uh, Matty, congratulations on your performance and the win over the weekend. Uh, must be nice to be back on the winner's list. Yeah, thanks, Mitchie. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, very nice to be back on the winner's list after... A couple of disappointing losses to Port Melbourne and Footscray um, in a row. So, yeah, really good to be back on the winner's list. Um, and hopefully we can take that into Casey this week. Uh, no doubt not the conditions that you would have been hoping for, but you ultimately managed to make uh, use of it in the end. What were some of the adjustments that you needed to make as a group uh, when you arrived at the ground and, uh, and saw that you were faced with those conditions? Uh, obviously, it was a very, very windy day, favouring one uh, end in particular. Um, so we had a real focus of those uh, the first and the third quarter about really defending hard, um, making it hard for them to score. Um, the first quarter they sort of slipped away from us a little bit, um, eventually scored two goals, seven or something. So that sort of saved our bacon a little bit that they missed so much. But um, yeah, with, with the win, um, our focus was getting in there, making sure it spent a lot of time down forward and then just making the most of our um, opportunities. Huge performance from you, 31 disposals and, and 14 clearances is probably the number that really stands out. Um, at the risk of asking an obvious question, it uh, must be pretty pleasing to come away, uh, not just with the win, but with an individual game like that. Yeah, yeah it's good to get back into a little bit of form. Um, I've been working closely with Mika um, with my stoppage work and trying to get um, that balanced with that outside ball as well. Um, so I'm trying to get a few more marks, a few more handball receives um, here and there on the outside. Um, but I think just the way the game worked on the weekend. I was a little bit more inside. Um, didn't really get too much of a chance to go outside, but still found a little bit of ball there, which was nice. So. Those sorts of conditions making for a bit more of a scrappy sort of affair, do you think that actually suits you personally well? Uh, yeah, I find myself like a very like inside player, um, suited to that game a bit more than outside. Not the quickest. Um, but yeah, I've been working in that area, but yeah, I think that scrappy type of game sort of works um, to me a bit better. Yeah. Uh, obviously, some familiar faces um, going really well with you in the midfield as well, the likes of Tom Gribble, but um, Mick Barlow coming into the team this year and, and obviously leading the group as a, as a playing coach um, and also guys like Josh Clayton. How do you think the midfield group's come together? I think we're still yet to hit our full straps. Um, Gribble's been outstanding in the past few weeks. He's been racking up that ball, same with Plato. Uh, it's been good to have Mick back in there just for a bit of leadership um, on the ground as well. I want a bit more of that directional side of things. I think, yeah, we're still yet to eat our full straps at the moment. So once we get that together, I think we'll be a very hard team to beat. Up against Casey on the weekend, good chance to get back on home soil and obviously uh, a, a good chance to challenge yourself against uh, some AFL-listed players as well, from what we understand. Can you shed a little bit of light on what you expect from Casey on the weekend? Uh, yeah, so four weeks away um, we've been playing, so back it's good to be back at home. Um, but Casey, they really bring like a really tough brand of footy as well, similar to Frankston. They're really hard at the ball. Um, probably, a probably a little bit more polished, seeing if they've got um, some of those AFL players in there. Um, but we can, yeah, we can expect a real fight from them this week. Well, good luck in your efforts against Casey over the weekend and um, enjoy the chance to get back on home deck. But uh, well done, Matty, on the result on the weekend. And um, yeah, we look forward to uh, plenty more big performances from you for the season ahead. Thank you very much, Mitchie. This has been the Gordon Player of the Week, the Gordon Real Skills for Real Jobs.